All right, I'm looking at advanced procedures, challenge number seven, and Code Monkey Jr. As we've been working in this section, we've noticed sometimes we have to be flexible with our block choices so that things work, our sequences work in both for all the shapes. So let's go ahead and start testing with our square. Now, I see I need to get two bananas. I always like to check that first. And I see that the monkey's only going in one direction. That's gonna help me with my planning. So first, we're gonna need to jump up and go forward, whoop, forward one, forward two, forward three. So let's see. Jump up, forward one, forward two, forward three. So now I wanna come over to this other one and I wanna see if that would work. Jump up, up, I can't go forward here. I need to jump up again. Now, if you've watched any of the videos from the earlier ones, we know that we can replace a go forward with a jump up. So I'm gonna take this one away and I'm gonna put this in. Now we can only do this as long as the monkey will not be hitting its head on one of these. So let me check this. So we have jump up, jump up, go forward, go forward. Oh, you know what I just realized? I need to get a banana. Now, here, I need to get a treasure. So that means I need to jump up at the end. I didn't think about that here, but, whoops, look at that. Just move my blocks. When the monkey comes, jump up, jump up, go forward, go forward, and then straight up, this will work too, we'll get this banana. In my mind, I guess I thought I was gonna jump up I was gonna worry about that when I got to the green circle, but I can see that wouldn't have worked because I need it for the treasure. So now let's look at the green circle. To get from this green circle to that one, I have to go one, two. To get from here to there, one, two. All right. So that square had a pretty complex sequence, but that's also why I like to put the blocks in and then go compare, because if I'm trying to remember, I might've mixed up my steps but I think we've got it. 